Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to make an origami llama just like this one. This model was created by Francesco Massimo, it is an intermediate level, maybe a little advanced, but in this video I will show you a slightly easier way to make it. The only material needed is a square of paper that can be any size. In this video I'm going to start with 20 by 20 centimeters, about 8 by 8 inches, and two different colors. If I start with the blue side facing up, the result will be something like this. And with the purple side facing up, the result will be more or less like this one. So, in my case, starting with the purple side facing up, our first step is to fold in half, horizontally. So just bring the bottom side to the top, and make a crease. The paper is now divided into two. We can unfold it. And as next step, we are going to divide it into four. We can start from the bottom side again. Just bring the edge to the middle. Reinforce. Then let's repeat the same thing on the top side. Again, we will bring the edge to the middle. and reinforce. Now we can unfold. The paper is now divided into four horizontally. Now we will have to turn it over and divide it into eight. You can do it however you want, but to make it easier I recommend that you first take this crease from the bottom and bring it to the middle like this. Then fold the edge below to the middle as well. Next we can rotate the paper and repeat the same step. First the crease to the middle, then the edge to the middle as well. In the end we just need to take the paper and fold it in half in this position. We'll leave it in this position with the open side to the left. And just on the first layer, we'll bring the bottom edge to the left, so we can make a small mark, just enough to see. Now we unfold, and we'll take the same mark and bring it to the side, creating a new diagonal here. Now that it's done, we can bring the first layer to the side, leaving it open like this, and we do the same thing with the next layer. First fold the bottom to the middle, making a small mark, and then bring the mark to the middle, reinforcing the diagonal fold very well. Let's unfold it and bring it to the side. And now we just need to do the same thing on the other two.
we are done with the first side. Let's rotate the paper. And do exactly the same thing with the other. Finishing these marks, we can open the paper, keeping it in this position, then turn it over, and now that we have all these lines that we can use as a guide, let's fold two new horizontals at the height of the diagonals we just made. We can start with the bottom side. Just bring the paper up, aligning the four corners, the end of the diagonals. And then crease sharply. We can unfold this, and now we have the bottom horizontal. Let's do the same up here. We unfold here too. Let's turn it over. And now pay close attention. Let's rotate the paper. And starting on the right side, let's first reinforce these three lines here by bringing them all up. Then we can close a little bit on the left. And now we are going to push the middle part to the right. Close and flatten the paper. Then we open it again and push this small fold we just made to the left, to the middle. We do the same here with the left side. As before, we start by reinforcing those three lines. Then we close the middle part by pushing the paper to the side. And then, using the crease we just made, Let's bring it to the middle. We close as before, leaving it as aligned as possible.
and we have this step ready on the first half. Now we can go to the other side, the other half, and repeat exactly the same thing. First we need to reinforce those lines on the right, then close pushing the middle part to the right, bring the small gap on the middle, Then reinforce the lines on the left. Close the paper again. And bring the small gap to the middle again. After closing the paper, we can reinforce it a little more. And we are done with the most complicated step. The next steps will be a little easier. Here on the right side, we are going to start by folding the blue corner up. Then we are going to fold the same corner in half diagonally. Just bring the edge back down. And undo this step. Now open the first layer and using the marks we just made, first let's bring the paper up and then down using the other two marks. And this is the result for the first layer. Let's go to the other side and repeat the same thing. First we fold the corner up, then in half diagonally. Undo this step. Bring it inside using the first mark. And then reverse the extra paper by bringing it down. On the other two, we start as before, folding the corner up first. Then unfold. Open. And we reverse it as before. The difference that now we are going to leave it like that. On the other side, same. First, we will mark the triangle. And then use the same marks to reverse. Now 
Now we can rotate the paper and open the first layer. Now we have a new triangle. Let's go to the other side, do the same here. Now we can open the paper using the main line in the middle. Let's turn it over in the same position. And now we'll fold everything in half by bringing one corner to the other. Close the paper again. And a little attention to the next step. We're going to need to reverse this corner here, but be very careful, we already have a lot of layers and if you push it too far, too fast, you can tear the paper. After that we can bring the layers back, more or less on this line here. Then we are going to bring it back, leaving a small gap. And then we'll bring it forward just the top layer. We'll leave it like that for now and go to the back side, to the triangle. Keeping in this position, we are going to have to fold a new horizontal here. For this, you'll need to bring the top side down. As you can see, it is not folded all the way down. You'll notice that it has a kind of lock. So just fold as much as you can, then we fold back up, leaving a small difference. Having done that, we can unfold and open the paper a little bit here at the back. Using the lines we just made, we are going to fold the paper down, then up, creating a sort of a zigzag, like in this image. So, we are going to first fold the bottom lines. Then we will reinforce the lines above to the opposite direction.
And in the end, we just close everything. Now, we're still in this part, let's fold this diagonal to the horizontal below. We can unfold it. Let's open the back side a little. And now, Holding the top part closed, we are going to push the paper down using the marks we just made. We have the tail. We can bend it down a little bit, taking it inwards and making it more inclined, creating an angle. You can do this in any way you want. The origami is almost ready, we just have to make it a few details. First we can fold this corner a little bit more to make the head. Then we fold the side layers over. And then we can fold the front corner underneath. If you want, you can also reverse this little corner here, in the front, on the neck. Then we can go to the hind legs, just fold it inside, then fold it back out, leaving a small gap. That way both hind and front legs are the same height. On the other side do the same thing. Try to make the two the same and adjust the angle a little, maybe bring it a little bit forward. We can fold the corners back here. Now up here on the ears, we do the same thing we did in the hind legs, making them a little shorter. If you want, you can also open these layers of the ears, making it a little more realistic.
I'm just going to keep the paper closed for a while using these things, I don't know what's called in English. But you don't need to use it, you can put inside a book if you want. That way the paper can keep its shape and doesn't open as easily. And the origami is ready! I hope you liked this video, if so I ask you to click like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time!